Hi, my name is Raquel. I'm with Balloon Art Clip Art. Today I have a new thing on Publisher. I am calling it the Balloon Mini Marquee Builder. It's based on Liz Romani's uh, Mini Marquees shown here. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So the, there's going to be two files in the download. One of them is called Numbers, and that's the one I want you to open up first. Etsy has a file size limit of 20 megabytes, and even with these uh, files zipped, they still, everything exceeded the limit, so I had to break it up into two. So first thing I want you to do is to open up Numbers. It's going, this is what you're going to see. It's going to be a grouped set. So I want you to come over here, and I want you to right-click and save it as a building block, and just hit OK. And we're done with that file. So we'll go ahead and close that. And then you will open up the other file called Mini Balloon Builder, Mini Balloon Marquee Builder. That's a tongue twister. And we're going to go in here to Page Parts. If you don't have the quick access toolbar set up, you can always go to Insert Page Parts. And it should be right there at the top. And we're just going to go ahead and position that into place like that. And we're going to ungroup it. And then you can go ahead and save the file since it's now on your computer. OK, if you are having uh, memory issues or not memory issues, but um, storage space issues, the publisher building block files are huge. So you can just go ahead, right click and delete that and make it go away. All right, so let's take a look at this. I have a little design here. And it is to scale. Everything on the page is to scale relative to one another. All right. And so what we're going to do is uh, show you how this works. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this for now. You can leave it grouped if you want, but I'm going to go ahead and ungroup it. So the way this works is uh, you will see these um, when you hover over an image in Publisher. A, an icon shows up and what that icon means is if you drag that to another picture it will swap it out. Oh look what it did, it picked up other images. Okay I just did a control Z to undo that. Let's go from this direction and it just drags it in the, there. I think what happened is when I drag it it picked up some of these other images. So if you do something in Publisher you don't like you can always do a control Z and uh, kind of back out of the last few steps you did. So just by dragging and dropping, I changed those to silver, or I mean to gold. If I wanted to change it to a 60, I can just drag it and drop. And you'll notice when I drag the six over here, it replaced it with a five. So right now we have two fives over here because I've got the six over here. Okay, so there you go. That's how you change that. And same thing with the star points. There's two star points. Uh, actually, there's three of them. Oh, I see. This one's, there we go. So I can just click on it and drag it over there, and it changes the color that quick. Same thing with the waves. Click on it, drag it down, click on it, drag it down, and it changes the color that quick. I also included some stars, the 20-inch star, 9-inch star, and 4-inch star for scaling and then the 14 inch tapers. If you wanted to change up the design, make it your own, do whatever, these are all to scale. All right, so let's say you wanted to change out the foil balloon here. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit more here so we can see what we're doing. Whoa, I got too many windows open right now. Okay, so to do that, to change out these windows, we're going to go to the manufacturer's website. And I happen to have Qualitex open right now because their, um, their images of balloons do not have a background on them, which makes it really, really nice. You don't have to get rid of the white background. All of the other manufacturers have that white background. So we're going to go here to occasion and let's pick a different birthday one here. I think I have, we'll just pick first one we see. Oh, happy day. Okay, and I can right click, copy, right click, paste, just like that. 
and the image is huge so I'm going to go ahead and go up here to format and I'm just going to type in a one to make it smaller so I can see what I'm doing and I'm going to need two of them so I'm going to do a control C and a control V I'm going to hover over there until I get that little picture and I'm going to slide that in there so I think what Liz does is this is actually turned 45 degrees so I'm going to or actually 90 degrees she's got it turned a little bit um, so that's how she ends up doing them so that's the tool right there is just to rotate it you can put it back so yeah we'll keep it the way she does them whoa flipping it all over the place aren't we there we go okay so the other thing I wanted to show you too which I thought was really cool oh before I forget I also wanted to mention that out on Etsy I do have other shapes Etsy.com shop that has um, how can I just get to my okay this is my store hello if you go to where did I put it I got so much stuff under foil balloon sets if you wanted to work with the crescent moons or the anagram curves, or if you wanted to start, you know, figuring something out with some of the other shapes, they are for sale here. In fact, right now, this is April 29, 2020, they are on sale 30% off. So these are compatible with this design, with any of the builder designs. I'm hoping to create some more. So if you wanted to try other foil shapes, that's where you can get them. All right, another really, really cool thing is uh, these balloons here are color schemed. So, you know, you can just click them, do whatever you want to change all the colors on the latex. Uh, but let's say that you actually wanted them to look more realistic. You don't like the cartoony look. Well, I've got a solution for you on that also. So this time let's go to let's go to Batalic. And let's go take a look at some latex balloons. Let's see. Let's go look for a we'll do a reflex latex. And we'll just pick the new crystal red. And I'm going to right click, I'm going to copy and I'm going to right click and I'm going to paste. And the image is huge so I'm going to go over here to format and I'm just going to type in a one so I can work with it and you will notice that there is a background on there so that is something to keep in mind you can get rid of it by clicking on the white however if this were a white balloon or a silver balloon when you get rid of the white color sometimes it will take out some of the colors inside here like for example on this balloon um, actually doesn't have a transparent color so I can't show you Anyway, that is one of the problems with, with um, the other manufacturers and the fact that they did not have transparent backgrounds. Okay, so what we're going to do first, I learned this, is that you need to unclick these two numbers. And then you're going to want to do a crop to shape. And I'm going to pick a circle. And now I'm going to reshape the crop area until it's a circle. And if you want to make it a perfect circle, you can come up here and just adjust the numbers and that looks pretty round and then I need to save the picture so I'm going to do a save as picture excuse me <clears throat> and I'm going to go to the desktop here and I'm going to call this reflex red and it's saving it as a PNG file which is important okay so now I can come in here and I can highlight the latex balloons that I want to have to look like this instead of just dragging it in there check this out um, I'll do it up here instead of through my quick access toolbar you go to shape fill and you pick picture and then you're going to go to file and I'm going to go back to my desktop where I had that saved and I'm going to pick that reflex red and it just replaced the ink the the fill color in there with the image of the balloon so now you are able to very quickly uh, get an actual image in the balloon to make it look a lot more realistic. Okay, I will do that one more time for you. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'll go ahead and do the silver because it comes in the five inch. 
So I'm going to go ahead and let's see if we can just do it right from the smaller image. Yeah, we can. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because we don't need it anymore. Okay, again, first thing we do is we unclick these so that we can, I don't know, it just made a difference. I was trying to figure out how to make this work and unclicking those, it helped for whatever reason. And now we're going to go ahead and, oh, come on, grab the right thing. Okay, now we're just going to sit there and make, make it a circle. There we go. I'm going to pull this out a little bit because I want to get more of that reflection. Okay, and I'm going to change this to 1.04 so it's a perfect circle. And I'm going to click outside. I'm going to select it again. Right click, save this picture, and I'm going to call this Reflex Silver. Okay, I can get rid of that now. So let's make this little flower here. We'll change, let's see, if I group it, everything and I group it, I can now go in and I can select by holding my shift key down, I can select all of my blue balloons at one time and I can do a fill on them. I'm not able to get that little piece back there, but let's go ahead. I'll use my shortcut this time I'm Going to go to the fill picture and I can change it to silver. And there they are, look at that. So if I wanted to zoom in on and get rid of that, um, oh, we got a little bit of missing balloon there. What I can do here is I can ungroup it. I can grab that flower. Oh, we got more of it. I can just group that one flower and now I can pull it out. And I can go ahead and change that one balloon again and then we can slide it back in so I'm curious if I if this still maintains the nope so when you do that fill it gets rid of the um, the uh, color scheme aspect of it so that's good to know there you go I just learned something new while whoops picture picture while I am showing you okay so I'm going to try something else I'm just really curious what if I hmm I don't think I can do that okay so never mind all right so there we go we can go ahead and change these centers to um, if we wanted to do the other color here. Oh, select them all. I didn't want to select them all. Okay, there we go. Picture, red, there we go. So you get how to do it and we can move it back in. So now we've got some centers on here that look very realistic. You know, if you wanted to change it a different color, you can do that. If you want to change it to, you know, whatever you want to do. And we can make it silver again, too. All right. So that's some new tools. I think that looks very nice, very realistic. And then if this was, you know, your beautiful job and you wanted to capture the whole thing, you drag and select the whole thing. So the thing you want to be careful with when you're selecting is if you come in just like that, you may not catch the uh, star point. The star point is kind of sticking out there a little bit. So make sure that you've got the little circle indications um, so you know that that's been captured. And then you can go ahead and uh, group it all together. Oh, I missed that guy. So I can do this and hold the Shift key. Group it all together and then you can right click. You can save it as a picture. We'll call it the 50th. And now that file is available for you to use in a publication somewhere. If you wanted to upload it to Canva or if you wanted to create a meme out of it, uh, you can do that too. So I am pretty stoked that I figured this out and some really easy ways to switch it out quickly so that you can build a library of these delightful little balloon mini marquees 
that Liz Romani created and has so generously shared with our community.